Hello, welcome to Tech Trend. So today we are going to learn how to solve track me sticker shop challenge. So without wasting my time, first let's connect to our uh, uh, track me open VPN. Since I will, be, I will not be using track me's attack box, let me connect to my open VPN. Uh, sudo open VPN. The name of my VPN. Crisis. Dot o VPN. Uh, okay, I made some mistake. Open vpn crisis dot o vpn so our vpn has connected successfully to track me server now let's we let's go to our track me our ip address is being started so let's read the room's description the room description said your local sticker shop has finally developed its own web page they do not have too much experience regarding web development so they decided to develop and host everything on the same computer that they use for browsing the internet and looking at customers feedback smart move can you read the flag at http well, let's access this website and see what's there accessing this website give us 401 unauthorized let's go back and access the main site to we'll copy the ip address open another tab since this site is running on port 8080, you have to add colon 8080 to our IP address. Now, this is the home page of the site. Let's be welcome to the Castica shop. This is it. Let's open the source code and see if we we'll get any important details here. But this is the source code, Castica shop. Nothing juicy here. Let's go back to the main site. Okay, this is the home. So, let's go to the feedback web page. Feedback page. So we have a feedback form here that allows users or customers to input uh, or input or review their product. So let's try inputting any comma comment and see this product. Let's say okay, this product was bad. Okay. And let's submit it. So after submitting, this is our response. Thanks for your feedback. It will be evaluated shortly by our staff. So it means our feedback or comments go straight to a, a staff of a, a staff of the site or company that he or she reviewed the comments. So it, this feedback can be uh, vulnerable to cross site scripting, basically blind cross site scripting, since we do not see our comments but goes directly to a staff. So the staff environment might be vulnerable or like or like the staff uh, browser might be vulnerable. So let's try inputting some malicious JavaScript code to test whether the site is actually vulnerable to cross site scripting or not. I wrote some basic command to test. Let's, let me open my note. Let me copy it. Come to the customer feedback. So we place the IP with your IP address. My IP address 10.9.0.65. Before that, you have to start your netcat listener to listen to incoming connections nc hyphen l v n p then you choose a port that you like so i'll choose 994 starting i'll go back to the feedback replace the port number that you use your netcast listener here 994 so this is the, this uh, payload actually like it attempts to trigger an http request to the, our ip address where the error occurs when uh, the error occurs in the mid tag so let's submit it and see how after submitting, let's go to our netcat listener. So this is actually vulnerable to cross-site scripting because we got a uh, we were able to monitor or uh, we were able to monitor incoming connections. So now let's try and access or read the flag that they told us to get. We we'll have a I wrote some malicious JavaScript code that will help us to retrieve the flag. So this is the code. Let me input here. In case you don't understand the code or you want the code, I have a blog. I will leave a link to the blog in the video description that you can access the blog. You, can able, you will be able to copy the payload. And also, I give explanation how the payload works and how, uh, and also explain each commands or each code in the payload. So this IP address, let me replace this with my IP address. Let me replace it. This is my IP address. That's my IP address 
9.0.65 now let me start my net count listener again to listen to incoming connections every mp i'll choose port 994 again start oh the old one is still working so let me choose different i think every np let me choose let's say 998 start now go here then the port change the port to the port that number that you use in your net card is 998 now let's submit our malicious payload submit after submitting you wait for a minute then let's go back to our net card listener to see whether we're able to capture the flag let's wait for a while like for about a minute or some 30 seconds to see whether you were able to capture the flag still listening on report 998 I think something is wrong let me cancel it clear screen let's start on it card listener again vnp 998 yeah, copy the code again i don't know why replace with the ip address the ip address is 10.9.0.65 now replace with the port number let me check the port number that i use 998 the port number 998 let's submit it again submit still not working i don't know why let's input our malicious payload again go so input our malicious payload now let's change the ip address to our ip address 10.9.0.65 so let's start our net card listener to listen on the port every NP that's for 8000 choose for 8000 go back to our feedback from and send it now our feedback have been sent to the server let's go and check our net card listener boom now our net card listener were able to listen to the incoming connection so we got the flag so this is the I think this is the flag that's THM Let's copy it and type whether it is the flag or not. So input, paste the flag here, submit. Uh, we have successfully solved the track mistake cash up. So this room, uh, challenge was a vulnerable vulnerable to cross site script, uh, scripting. Basically, this uh, challenge was vulnerable to cross site scripting. Basically, blind SSA. So this um, I wrote some remediation that you can use to solve. Or protect yourself from cross site scripting. You need to sanitize user input and escaping special characters like small, uh, less than sign, greater than sign, uh, quotation mark to prevent script ingestion. As you can remember, our payload there were some uh, special characters like this greater than sign, less than sign. So, sanitizing user input will help you prevent uh, script ingestion. Also, ensure sensitive files like flag.txt are not directly accessible. So, some sensitive files are not uh, you are you have to ensure that some sensitive files are not directly accessible to users or customers user server side and client server side libraries to protect and filter sss payloads so this is all for the track mr cash up challenge you can also check my the video description for a link to my blog where i explain everything thank you